here we go. Oh, check this out. Look at that. Wow. This snake's one of my favorites. It's a southern ringneck snake. And the first thing you notice about it is how it gets its name. It's got a ring on its neck. It's yellow. This snake's full grown. When a predator sees this animal, it can't bite. Look at this. If it was gonna bite me, it would bite me. It can't bite. So what it does is it flashes this belly. What that is is a warning. Hey, back off. You don't wanna touch me. I'm bad news. Because if you're a predator, like a fox, and you put this in your mouth, you're spitting it out in a very short amount of time because this snake has a musk that is one of the worst smelling and tasting musks you will ever experience. Yes, I have tasted it, it's terrible. The coolest thing about this snake, I think, is it's such a great example of why we're in the upper Apalachicola Basin right now. This area is rich in plants, but it's also rich in animals with more reptile species than anywhere else in the entire country. Behind me is a spring, over there is a spring, brings cool flowing water down through this slope forest. That water attracts invertebrates, things like roly polies and ants, and that's what this snake feeds on. Every niche in this forest gets filled by something, and here is a perfect example of the fallen bark niche that this snake is the top predator within. Um, I'm gonna let this snake go, and hopefully we can see a lot more as we explore this absolutely amazing and biodiverse area. So let's see what else we can find. Let go, let go. Uh, we have a problem here. All right, little ringneck snake. There's a lot of ant grubs out there in the world. Good luck.